Okay, we pre-measured 40 ounces of water and 14 ounces of lye for this recipe. And we slowly pour the lye into the water. And mix it all up. And that's not all the lye I need. I have another container of lye right here. Here we go. Now this is the rest of the 14 ounces of lye. And you really have to be very careful when you mix your lye and your water together because this is becoming a very um, hot acid. And this is what makes your soap come together. And we're just going to stir this up, make sure there's no lumps in the bottom of this. And that's it. And what else we do is we take our thermometer and we'll take the temperature of our lye to make sure that it's going to be at the right temperature. And when we get there, we'll get back with you. Thank you. Okay, I'm pouring my hot oil into my plastic container because this is the container I like to use to mix my oil and my lies together. Well, this is just another step to get my soap done. Okay, I put some mold release on my container here and this is what I'm going to use for a mold because I have so much soap to pour in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour my soap in there. And see how beautiful that soap is? That soap. And it is true that the cold compressed soap is really the best soap. It does take a long process to make this. After you can wait 24 to 48 hours before you can even touch it with your hands. And then after that, you can cut your bars into soap. Or you can cut your soap into bars, excuse me. And then you have to put it away for six weeks before you can use it. Because then the lye is going to be dissipated. Okay, that's it. Okay, look how beautiful this soap looks. It definitely looks just like lotion. It's just so beautiful. Turned out to be a beautiful... Beautiful batch of soap.